Hello, this is John Kitzdanner, and this is another episode of our life here on the farm. And I'm just going to shoot a quick video showing how we manage our, our sheep during the winter. Uh, my goal is to never bring any hay in. Uh, we've got plenty of, of grass here, pasture here, uh, that stays, uh, uh, that keeps very well. And uh, if you actually look at some of the research, standing uh, hay, uh, meaning <laughs> grass that has not been uh, cut, uh, can retain very high quality um, through the winter uh, up until uh, late February or March. And so what we do is we just keep running these uh, uh, paddocks and we've been running them across the pasture. See if I can get a picture of this without the sun glaring too bad. Uh, slowly working away across um, all through winter as well. And so <clears throat> this area they've eaten down pretty well. They don't touch the uh, broom sedge very much at all. Um, except for in the spring uh, when they've got some new growth. Other than that, it's not actually a great uh, pasture uh, plant, even though it's native. Uh, it's one that we're trying to select it kind of against. But um, in this area, we've got, uh, it's not perfect, but it's, it's not too bad. Uh, hay uh, pasture here, and, uh, but definitely more than, than we have over here. And the sheep love it. Uh, they're growing well. Uh, we got some big fat ewes out there uh, with our ram. He's the guy out front. I'm going to open this up. Come on, girls. Come on. They know. <laughs> they know when it's time. Come on. There's our ram. And it's as easy as that. We set up this paddock yesterday. Uh, the kids and I came out and uh, and set this up. And they'll be out here for, oh, four or five days, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, kind of depends on, on what they do. And uh, and that's it. But that's how we manage our, our uh, grazing animals during the winter. So we don't ever have to bring in any hay. We do, I, show, I will add, we do a, a mineral supplement, a kelp-based mineral supplement. Um, so even with, <laughs> even with the gate open, they won't go back through because they know uh, they're done with that paddock. But I, I always manage them this morning. They're up there sitting there chewing their cud. They're not sitting there at the, at the gate or at the fence batting waiting to be let through. Uh, so I try to manage it so they never quite get hungry. Um, and uh, it's, it's, a, you know, it's a matter of trial and error. And uh, monitoring your, your grasslands a bit, um, or actually quite a bit, and that's the only way to know. And, and uh, keeping close tabs on what your animals are doing and how they're looking. But that's it for now. This is John Kitzdanner in Bulls Gap, Tennessee.